so um let's see we last last time last where we left off you were all in the casino kind of doing your own okay. thing and you weren't you, you weren't really making it known that you knew each other okay. like each one of you was kind of doing your own thing um corinne you were kind of trying your luck at the tables a little bit and then when the you black had your track, ring yeah. on yeah the you were track, yeah. you um when you, you when you were playing for a while and you had the ring on you were losing and it was at the beginning it was at those front tables and everybody was winning around you and then you took it off and then you started oh. to win and then they said hey do you want to come to the higher stakes tables and as soon as you started to get a pile of chips going and then you you ended up going over to the ball yeah right mm -hmm. and then so. amelia you were by the bar and then you were kind of testing to see like what the security was like and see what it took to get kicked out um and uh like watching the the drunks and stuff at the bar yeah and <clears throat> dr park you were um bouncing yeah yeah you were you were dancing and uh Morgan, you were playing the uh like the penny slots, right? Like the the you're playing mm -hmm. with like the spare change kind of slots. But yeah, then I went to the ball. Yeah, but you all noticed that they horrible. were trying to sort of like get people drunk and then lure mm -hmm. them in, you know, um, like they just kept the liquor flowing and then they were um trying to move people over to like the higher stakes tables once they got some money um but you all ended up in the ballroom and then in the ballroom you were seeing it was like there weren't as many humans around it was more like you did mm -hmm. see a few celebrities or who you thought were celebrities like amelia spotted somebody who had a um a tattoo and then she recognized them that it was a model that she had done a paparazzi thing with you know she thought, recognized the tattoo she's like that's i know who that is and then, but it was mostly like elves and elementals and you saw a ghost of or a, a specter figure walk in kind of s serving like canapes and drinks and stuff but it was more he's more of like a servant mm -hmm. um so oh and then and then yunaga made her appearance and then she had a massive swollen ankle, like the size of a grapefruit, um, and was kind of hobbling on it. Um, and then I think that's where we left off, right? Yeah, yeah that's where we left off, yeah. Um, so, but everybody is in the ballroom, right? Yep. And, uh, yeah, so you know, these nice string instruments are sort of playing themselves and they're they're playing like a nice pavan and everybody's mm -hmm. dancing and uh, let's see. Yeah, Morgan, I think you bumped into a few people and they were very offended. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the rube. But um, yeah, Amelia, I think you were close to, you were close to Unaga yeah. and the Ew. she was with some members of the winter court mm. and kind yes. of chatting them up um so yeah she's she's it's, it seems like she's trying to like socialize and um and make make an appearance like an entrance with this entourage and everybody is kind of you know like oh it's unaga and kind of uh hovering around her and uh and but she she looks to be injured <laughs> mm -hmm. so what do you all want to be doing now that Unaga has made her entrance and i would say it's probably about 10 p.m right now so the the high stakes game is going to be coming up pretty soon but you still got some time i'm just going to be uh uh, I'll dance for a little while, sit down, look like I'm resting, kind of sit down mm -hmm. in such a way that you know, I guess in my just line of sight. And that way I can 
be absorbing her without absorbing her. Yeah, I'm going to sit down, pretend to read the scroll, but really keep my eye on Naga. I'm not going to make it obvious I'm watching, though. I'm not going to straight up eyeball her, but I'm pretending to read the scroll. No, head down, but eyes actually kind of up. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so, uh, she's, you know, she's just standing there kind of talking to these people. If you want to get a little closer and listen, um, you can, or, or, uh, people like, I don't know, Amelia, I think you said that you were kind of close to there. Yeah, I'm uh, hanging around um, just in the periphery of, uh, uh, I was thinking Gordon Ramsay, but no, uh, <laughs> because he was up there. Um, yeah. No, in the periphery of the elves that came out with Yunaga, uh -huh. uh, close, but not like uh, trying to invite myself into the crowd, but close and keep an eye and try to pick up uh, what they're talking about. Yeah, I think if you want to just give me a uh, an observation. Absolutely. Let's see what you overhear. Uh, 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 that's a normal hit on 55 out of 60. Um, so, yeah, as you're kind of, you know, you, you notice that her, her minders, her like, uh, bodyguard guys are staying kind of close to her and maybe helping her a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. she's pretty severely hobbled. Um, and she's, she's talking about what a bad day she's been having. She's like, she's talking about how it's been kind of like one calamity after another that there was like a um a, a water main that like burst open and then in it flooded part of the casino and then there was and then she was like dealing with that and then she slipped on the stairs and like fell halfway down the stairs and then she kind of keeps going on and it's like one thing after another after another She's and had a bad day. yeah, she's had like a really bad day. <laughs> but um, yeah, she seems to be talking to somebody who looks like, you know, they could be some kind of like royalty or whatever. Like they just stand out. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I will uh, circle back uh, and pass by the others and just try to pass off the information like she seems to have had a bad day she's i wouldn't say irritated but she's she seems to have had a bad day everything that has gone wrong has gone wrong and then just continue it's about to get worse it's worse successful <laughs> For me, when I'm while I'm dancing, all I'm concentrating on is the dancing because it's sort of an intense experience and I'm being present with my dancing partners and, and so on. And uh, so I probably don't even notice the entourage at first. It's only when I stop dancing and um, take a break and maybe a chat with with um, some dancing partner that I see that these um, that the um um this onaga has arrived and notice her hobbling and i guess it's um kind, kind of genuine um i can specify more if i'm if someone comes up to me and tells me what's been overheard yeah so i think it wouldn't be it wouldn't take a, a medicine check to see that she has a really badly sprained ankle you know just huge, like size of a grapefruit. So you know that, but does it look as if it's been uh, properly dealt with? I mean, I can go over and make an offer to help her. 
Not really. Like, it seems like she may be wrapped, you know, like an ice pack on it or something. Um, but the swelling is really, really bad, you know. Right. Um, I mean, the possibility with these kind of things is always that it's um, more than just a sprain, that it could be um, a fracture of um, one of the smaller <sighs> bones that you, that, 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 that you get in there. And you might not be able to distinguish at the beginning, but certainly she should take her weight off her feet. So I can go over and uh, offer um, offer to help. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it but it will be basically first aid, and if she's got good first aid, but also to recommend that she gets an X-ray for it. Yeah. Um, so are you are you going to do that? Are you going to approach some? I mean, if if it seems, yeah, or, why not? Or are you are you telling the group this? <laughs> well, I'm not with the group really. Right. No. Yeah. You're you're dancing. I've been dancing, and this would only be so, so. Tell me, I only notice all this once I've stopped dancing. So you tell me if there is an opportunity to do this. But um... yeah, she's. I mean, you know, she is surrounded by what looks to be like a couple of bodyguards, and then some possibly elven royalty, and then like a a, a water elemental, um, all kind of standing, and they all look to be. So like uh winter court um they're wearing like their kind of white flowery robes their kimonos and then the um... I mean, go ahead i was just going to say that it's as good a way to distract her by sort of making sure by by focusing her mind on her um on her medical situation as anything else um no i mean that's you know just uh she does seem she's not really moving too much like she's mm -hmm. she does seem like she's staying off of the foot mm -hmm. like she seems well, to be good. sort of sitting with this group you know and talking with them mm -hmm. um and then, i mean yeah you maybe get the impression that she went straight for the the vips that she was trying to impress the most you know instead mm -hmm. of walking around and socializing I mean, maybe I can go up to one of the minders and say, look, um, I am a doctor and um, I see that um, and has, um, obviously has sprained her, um, uh, her ankle here. And um, maybe I can, I mean, if, if medical attention would, it would, would be appreciated, I'm certainly able to, to give that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, up to you. Uh... Okay, right. Well, but I but I don't know the context at the moment, so I'll wait until someone, one of the party, comes up to tell me. I'll just be back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, um, you guys have got, you know, a couple hours to kill <laughs> mm -hmm. before the mm -hmm. the game actually happens. Um, Well, if she calms down from her thing and starts looking around, I'm going to see if she's trying to pick out particular people, um, just kind of get a general read on her body language, that sort of thing like that. Yeah, she is like, she's like waving, you know, at people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you, you know, you, you were pretty, you're almost positive that you saw Gordon Ramsay earlier, like kind yeah. of milling around. And then he, and then you think that you see him with his mask on, you know, yeah. in the the masquerade ball, and she kind of waves right. at him, and he waves back, you know, and so, so like she's it, sort of she's waving at important people, then, right, right, important people. Okay, she's not picking out somebody that looks like she's looking to to pick out her next uh, victim, sort of thing like that, that I can tell. Yeah, she seems pretty like preoccupied, mm -hmm. like not really. Mm -hmm. um, paying attention to anybody else except for the VIPs. Hmm. Hmm. I think that might be good for Corinne, actually. I'm just staying out of the way, waiting for uh, Q 
keeping close enough to see her, so I will notice her uh, if she signals that she needs to mm -hmm. needs help. Otherwise, I'm just keeping out of the way. And uh, yeah, as you're sitting there, um, you know, kind of trying to keep an eye on the the room, you do see these these um, <clears throat> like kind of like butler types that keep walking by mm. and trying to offer you food and drink. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. I remember <laughs> that we were explicitly told not to eat or drink anything. Yeah. And then there are, you know, in this spread, there are things that look like um, strawberries and blueberries and, you know, on this, this food, all this food that they've got. But then there's some things that you don't really recognize, like little types of fruits and things that don't, yeah, don't really look like anything that you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not uh, going to take my chances. Even if I want to take photos, I won't do it because I want to uh, have a low profile. Right. All right. So. Um. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Dr. Park, if you if you do, you know, if you do want to approach her, the say that your your dance ends, and then um, you you notice that she seems to be staying off this really swollen leg, and uh, but yeah, if you if you if you want to, you can you know you can talk to her. I think I would really. I'm a bit frightened by the whole thing, but I think I would. It's yeah. my general end. So as you as you get, you know, you sort of walk over towards them, you see that the two, these two guys that are standing next to her kind of put their hands on their swords and and don't let you, you know, get in your way. Um All right. just to stop I mean, you. Perfectly reasonable. I will explain that I am a doctor, and if I can be of, of assistance to this lady who seems to have an injured ankle, um, I could have a look at um, what the uh, what what the situation is and give her advice um, as to what to do. But I don't want to intrude. It's only if it would be appreciated. Yeah. So, so the guys, just wait one moment, sir. And then he walks back to Yunaga, kind of whispers in her ear, um, and she she waves waves you over. Um, and says, "Hello, I'm uh, I'm Mistress Yunaga. I don't think we've had the pleasure." No, my, my name is um, is Hayden Park. I'm um, I am a doctor of uh, general um, uh, med medicine. Um, I see that you've um, sprained your ankle. Um, you probably um, don't need me to tell you that um, it's a good idea to um, to rest that as much as possible, and perhaps to and to elevate it. Um, I'll talk about rice and so on. Um, does it look as if it's been well? I mean, it's it's been immobilized properly. It's been compressed. I don't want to sort of pull it apart in the dance floor. But, um, um no, it looks like she did it herself. And then she does okay. not really have like medical training. Like she just wrapped a maybe wrapped an ice pack around it for a little bit and then took it off and then came down here and limped on it. Right. I mean, it's obviously very inconvenient for you, uh, Mom, because this is the night of your um, party. But nevertheless, um if if you do have five minutes, if you, if you can go and sit sit down, then I can I can look at it. At some point, it might be worth having an X ray. The risk is that one of the little bones in the ankle there um, may be um, 
uh, may may have broken or one of the tendons has actually torn. If it's the tendon has just been extended, it's not going to be so much of an issue. Um, but I can have a look at that and wrap it up properly if you if if you like. Well, I've I've been trying to stay off of it. I, I had a nasty fall. I twisted it. I fell down some stairs. Uh, I, I so did put an done. ice pack on it, but I, I don't know if it's broken. It is painful, but right. I, I, I don't know if it's broken. What? How would I know? Would I be able to move it? Would I be able to do this and like kind of extends it and then, you know, and then like retracts it? Uh, yeah. If she is able to move it like that, then it's unlikely to be broken. I mean, really, it would be extraordinarily painful if it was broken. I mean, it's already very painful. But I, I mean, you you can let me make a medical rule, Steve, if you like, and to sort of judge the effects of my, my diagnosis. But based on what she said so far, it looks as if it's just about a nasty sprain rather than rather than a fracture. Well, your your medicine is good enough that I think it, if you did any kind of cursory examination, you, I mean, I wouldn't even make you roll for it you would know exactly like you could just pull it and then you know and she's like ah that really you know let me know like what your range of motion is and but she um it's it's def it's not it doesn't seem like it's broken um right unless it's like a teeny uh -huh. tiny hairline fracture okay i mean i'm saying it doesn't look as if it's broken i mean if you have a chance tomorrow to go for an x-ray you might want to, to 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 do that in the meantime i can pack it better for you and wrap it up because you it, impression is an important part of um of um of what you're doing here if you're able to take your weight off your feet for a minute we can um and i'm happy to um to to do that for you but um to emphasize that she has it it's a good idea for her to have follow up treatment in the morning if she's um, to if 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 it really doesn't appear to be healing uh, right right away and tell her to take the weight off as soon as possible you know, as soon as the party has facilitates her is that do you um, uh, and what's do you have a, a practice is there somewhere where I could visit you you seem like you have a nice tan you've been been getting some sun yes I get a fair amount of sun. Um, I um, um, I uh, give her a phone number and say this is how you can contact me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And then I think she, you know, if you do have, uh, you do have like your your doctor bag and stuff. But I think you guys you left that back at the tailors, right? Didn't you? Yeah, but I. It, it's not like I need a stethoscope or anything. All we're talking about is the ability to sort of compress this more effectively to, than an amateur would be able to do, particularly if it was a patient trying to wrap herself. It's right. easier for me to do that, and I know what it is to get the right pressure on there. Yeah. So I, I don't need – I'm not going to give her pills or sort of – or saw her leg off or anything like that, the kind of thing <laughs> that I would have equipment for in my bag. Bring the bones out. <laughs> yeah um so but she she thanks you you know and she takes the card and she mm -hmm. seems very appreciative and 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 you know is uh um just like very cordial and kind of friendly with you but she seems very fake she seems very sure. like um kind of like um she's almost like putting on a uh like a face for to 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 seem like um God, what, what am i trying to say like she's putting on a face for everybody around her to to seem like nice i guess yeah mm. just seems very fake. sure anyway least least i can do mom um and take mm -hmm. the weight off as soon as you can and then i make my I, I make my exit. Well, thank you, Doctor Park. You know, it makes the 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 ritual out of looking at your business card and seeing, like, where you're located, and and I'll, I'll give you a call. And, um, yeah.
maybe a big mistake. But anyway, that's what I'm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you, you, you also gave her your given name too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't know. Maybe she could sniff out a lie. Um, but uh, yeah. So, um, say that you did a better job of wrapping up her ankle because she took something off. You know, put something on it for like five minutes and then came down here because she had to be yeah. here. Uh, so do you all just want to hang out here until the, like the game starts? I, I don't yeah. really see anything else we could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to watch her as much as possible once she gets going toward the game room or where I think the game room is. I'll just follow. Yeah, That'd exactly. Really obvious. Checking checking the layout. Thing is, I don't want to be noticed. I want to be have such a low profile, so I don't want to start talking to people because I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Uh, so they no would idea. remember me. I will. Mm -hmm. I'm used to being unseen. Right. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. Um. Yeah, if you, if you all just hang out here until the game starts, right? Mm -hmm. You know, Yunaga does seem to just to stay off of her feet for pretty much the whole the the whole dance, um, and then you know midnight rolls around, and then she like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like, we we're going to have a a tournament, a high stakes game in the. Um, in the uh what would the like one of the the ballrooms you know it like gives this this name of this room that's down the hall um and then she gets her you know her two like minders to kind of like put her arms you know around each shoulder of these strapping young elf gentlemen kind of help her like down the hall um trying to stay off of her foot and everybody, you know, people, you see some people that look like they're, they're like, finally, you know, this stupid dance is over. And then other people that are just excited by all of the, uh, the pageantry, um, or the, the next part of this, you know, this ball. Um, and then the, uh, you see like, Corinne, you, you, recognize this the same pit boss that was mm -hmm. kind of showing you around earlier mm -hmm. kind of like ushering people you know down the hall mm. well i'll go up to um him it's like i think i have enough uh the side for the i'm assuming there's an there's a pretty stiff entry fee for the uh high stakes table with the uh Indaga. But I think I've saved it up for that, so I'd be quite interested. I've heard quite some stories about her, as I said. So, but I think mm. I think I've got enough saved up, and I'm feeling good tonight. So, mm -hmm. and the um, <clears throat> the are you, are you're you're talking to the pit boss, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. He says he says, well, you you do know what they're playing for, though, correct? If that can be believed, yes, I think so. Okay, All right. Um, right this way, and kind of leads you, you know, down the hall. Um, but if you, if everybody else wants to just follow, there's like yeah. a mob. You know, there's like a group of people that seem to be spectating. Mm -hmm. um, and um, as you enter this um, this room, like the high stakes, uh, high stakes gaming room. Um, and people start taking their seats. Um, and then there's, it's like mostly elves, but there's a couple of, um, you see, like you even recognize, you think that you recognize a, like a celebrity poker player, like one of those guys who's on ESPN, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. And then, um, the, uh, but they're like playing tricks on each other. Like they're, you know, holding their cards and then they'll be like levitating them using magic 
or like doing an illusion where it like looks like one of them is behind the other players, like looking at his cards and then like, get out of here, you know, just kind of like messing with each other with all kinds of different kinds of magic. Um, and then uh, Corinne, the, uh, the guy, you know, the pit boss guy, he leads you over to a, ch a chair and he says, the buy-in is 50 souls. I'm not okay. Maybe I'm was it right? I thought the outcome if you lost was the forfeit of yours. You're saying I have to provide fifty souls. How in the world would I do that? Uh, would you like for me to convert some of your winnings? I think that you have enough to. Okay, so I'll hand you money and it somehow converts into souls? Right, right. We can change some of your um your some of your chips into uh soul coins. I see. Okay. Uh yeah, I guess so, yes. Uh -huh. Um and uh and so he like it takes your pile. Or 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 sorry, the you you had your your pile in the cage. It was like in the yeah. um the the cage with like the uh yeah. So he comes back with a stack, a pretty small stack of these coins. And um and then uh you, if you if you do a sense vestigia roll on the like the coins are definitely they're they're kind of emanating like Pain and suffering. <laughs> Funny about that. Okay. Oh yeah. Even at fifty-five, I can tell that. Yes. Um... Yeah, there is like there is a soul inside each one of these coins, and it seems like they are just tortured, like they're uh, ghosts, you know, who who mm -hmm. have not been able to move on because something horrible happened to them. Haven't been able to move on from this plane. Being turned into a coin. Coins tend to do that too. Yeah, but it doesn't take much. Like you can just feel like the kind of pain and suffering of of these, you know, each each, and then you have a stack of of 50. Um, or or, or maybe like slightly more, like 50, 55, 57 of these coins. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you know. I thought I amassed a, quite a bit of money. I didn't amass very much in comparison. Do you still have your your like bag of gold and silver and stuff? Right, which back? I can go oh, true. Yeah, okay. Right, and then also, I think that when you when you were all in the the pawn shop, mm -hmm. you picked up something like you picked up. There was a piece of jewelry. That like really meant something to somebody and it was stolen from them or something mm -hmm. like it had a song a strong vestigia mm -hmm. attached to it or something mm -hmm. like that um but it had like the same kind of vibe as these like soul coins that there was like just some pain and suffering that was kind of attached to it But you notice that everybody else at the table has a pretty good sized stack of coins. Like you've mm -hmm. like got the buy-in and not much more. Mm -hmm. And she'll be ready to put down the the gold and the silver and the gems necessary, right? But at first, you're just going to apply the minimum hands and bow out. Yeah, it looks like it's not going to go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, as the game starts, mm -hmm. right, do you have your ring on or do you not have it on? Right now, I don't have it on. 
Okay. Um, um, uh, but is it's it's on you, right? It's on your person. Yeah. 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 So um, actually, as the game starts, you uh, the the pit boss kind of walks by. Um, I'm just going to see if he. Um, he 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 walks by you, and then he seems like he's kind of like looking closely at you, um, like just you know walked right by you behind you, and then walks past you and goes over to another guy who's kind of across the table from you, and then he leans over to the guy and whispers something in his ear, and then he pulls out his, and then the guy is like, oh, yeah, you got me," pulls out pulls up you know, open his jacket and then hands over like a monkey's paw thing to the, to the pit boss. <laughs> and then the, the pit boss like closes the monkey's paw and then puts it in his pocket. And he says, I'll have it for you at the cage, you know, like him <laughs> walks out of the room. Um, but you, you're, you did not get caught. Okay. Little monkey's paw, interesting. And that's not fake on her part. She's like, wow, a little monkey's paw. Yeah, and it's the guy. So it was the guy. It, it was the guy who looked like a professional gambo gambler that you've seen on TV, you know, mm -hmm. like wearing like the cowboy hat. And he's like, ah, all right, you got me. Here's my monkey's paw. So um do they uh uh, do they allow an audience close by? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's kind of like milling around. And then it seems very clicky. Like the, the courts seem to be sticking together. Like you you see there are actually like when you, you know, when you were walking around in the marketplace, you did see like all the different courts, but you also saw like there was goblins and like treants and, you know, fairies and stuff like that. Um, and then there are, it looks like there are some kind of like goblins that are trying to sort of mill around where Yunaga is mm -hmm. and then, or, or like, you know, some fairies and like elementals and stuff, but they aren't playing. Uh, mm -hmm. it's just, it's mostly just these elves and then a couple of humans that are at the table. Mm -hmm. And then Yunaga is kind of milling around like trying to stay off of her foot but watching the game mm -hmm. and and there's an audience i will uh stand like i like i imagine it being the high stakes game in a james bond movie where you know people <laughs> uh, are looking close but have uh, uh, like a respectful distance don't don't yeah. like mm -hmm. crowd yeah, the mm -hmm. table but still it seems still, your luck you know. has run out mr bond <laughs> um, yeah, if you go too close, I'll probably think you're trying to pass along information. So not only allow you to stand too close. You don't didn't have as many souls as you thought you did. Um <laughs> so yeah, the game starts, right? Mm -hmm. And then um you're just you're um are you trying to win? Corinne? No, right right now I'm just trying to get the lay of the thing. So if when they buy up, a lot of times I if it looks like somebody's I, I will, you know, I will do it for my blood for this for this round. So bow out. So which I think is probably a strategy that people need to employ. So yeah. But how good of a poker player would you say you are? Uh, she's played some, played some, but she prefers blackjack, so not very. Yeah, I mean, she 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 knows the rules. Uh, she has pretty good idea of percentages, but yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, I mean, she's so are, really you, you're, are you just trying to stay in the game? I guess is what I, I'm asking. Yeah, like... basically, I'm just trying to stay in the game till I get a sense of what's going on. Right. Um. So. You're not winning, you're not losing, you're kind of, I mean, you're you're losing a little bit. Your stack is yeah. getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Um, I think actually give me a luck roll. Okay.
Okay, 41. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like anybody really, like nobody is using magic in a way that affects the game, actually. They're just mm -hmm. doing it to mess with each other. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just based on their their actual skill at, you know, mm -hmm. seven, uh, what is it, seven, what's the, what's the one? What do we call it? Texas seven, Hold Texas yeah. Hold'em, yeah, Texas Hold'em. Yeah. So it's just basically, they're just playing poker. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, your stack is getting a little bit smaller um, just because these people are just better than you, mm -hmm. you know, at poker. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I, I'm so, waiting, basically what I'm doing is I'm waiting for it to start turning. Right. Um, so uh, and towards where, where where something seems wrong and it starts turning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So as this game keeps going right mm -hmm. um you're 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 all sitting there and you're kind of you know you're you're sort of holding your own but your loot your stack is getting smaller mm -hmm. you feel like a a rumble like the the whole because like the whole casino is shaking um like the like an earthquake you know or something like that and it's kind of gentle at first um, but then you hear like a a thud, you know, like an explosion or something. What? Um, and like and like you know, the, the casino kind of shakes, like the whole thing just kind of shakes. And then Ooh. Yunaga kind of looks like she's like looks very unnerved, you know, and then she's just like waving at her her pit bosses and the minders. Um uh, like what you know? What's going on? What's this is a big deal? And not not now, not tonight. Um, and I think, or actually, I think Amelia, if you're yeah. you're trying to keep an eye, um, yeah, yeah, she's she's trying to keep her, you know, her voice down, but she's like, "What the hell is going on? That was an explosion. <laughs> First the water main, and now this. What is going on?" I'm, I'm um, edging around like to see how people react around around me if they're oblivious or uh, if like security is going on alert. Yeah, so Did it sound far away. It sounded like it was under, like like oh. under you somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, in the bottom of the casino, maybe mm -hmm. like in the down somewhere. Um, but yeah, she, she kind of waves it like, you know, like it, people start going in different directions. Like the, the two kind of minder guys, like the bodyguard guys stay with Yunaga, but you see these pit boss guys just start splitting off and going in different directions. Uh, uh and then she's like, she's like, everybody, I, I've heard that we have had some kind of a gas leak. In the casino, everything is under control. Please continue. And um, please, I, I, I assure you, everything is fine. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. It's okay. no cause for alarm. Um, do you think this is a time for a distraction? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think... Yeah, if, if 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 ever there was gonna be something that was your cue, um, mm, yeah, I kind yeah. of thought that was. Uh, I'm standing across from Corinne so she can see me, and I give the signal to you know shield her eyes, and when she looks at me, when all the others look at me, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna do flash bulb. I'm gonna, be I'm gonna put some. Yeah. Points into this sucker. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see. What do I have for uh, magic points? Oh, I've got twelve. No, no, I spent some, didn't I? I think oh. you. Um. Yeah, you spent. Well, only like one though in the restaurant. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put five into it. Okay. So yeah. So you're making. Um, 
like a pretty good size just like flashbang right yeah like right in the yeah. middle or, or or yeah where are you doing that where are you casting it uh over the table right directly like over the table projecting it oh yeah projecting it right out particularly where uh, over near where Yunaga is right um so so, so she's world? kind of standing you know like watching the table but she's not playing okay um but she's you know right behind everybody who is playing and then so Karel is the only one who's at the table yeah. but so, 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 so you not that... not actually so you not is not actually at the table yet she is not playing she's not playing she's watching no but yeah, she's watching. still it'll it'll blind her momentarily right. um okay okay so, yeah but, magic but everybody knows the signal right yeah oh yeah the so, friends can yeah, be studiously see... it's going to be students as we're heading down to studiously studying their car i guess so okay um let's actually let's do oh. an initiative um or, okay. or actually go ahead and do your do ahead and go ahead and do the cast uh i got a three a three so oh yeah <laughs> that's if you want to burn the luck and make it a crit I mean, it's only oh, yeah, two points. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'll, I'll um, burn it. Oh my god, you, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, you you cast what you think is going to be like a flashbang, kind of like in the middle of the room, mm -hmm. and somehow like there is something going on inside this casino or something that like makes everybody's magic power more powerful. Um, and the whole room just goes like it, it just turns into like a ball of light. Um, and oh, everybody, shit. you know, and then you like, you see like people just like, like a SWAT team has just thrown a flashbang, like in the middle of the room. Um, but let's do initiative. So we should get the fuck out. Um, Did I manage to look away? Did I see the gesture that this thing was going to be happening? I think so, because you you guys all knew the signal, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, but like the whole room just fills up with light, like a sun appeared. Yeah, like right over the, oh the table. Um. <laughs> so. Yeah. What's um. What's what's Dex? What what's people's? <laughs> Uh, I okay. have um, 80 decks. 60 decks? This is going to be awesome. Okay. Yeah, I've got uh, 50. I mean, Amelia. Yeah, I, th uh, I don't think you guys have over 80, right? No, I no. have no. 50. No, no, no. I've got, I've got 60, yeah. Uh, oh, Dr. Park? I'm just uh, looking. Hang on a, a moment to see what it is. 40. I'm not the 40. most dexterous. Okay. Okay, so... I think you're not a surgeon. <clears throat> <clears throat> Amelia, you're up. Mm -hmm. uh, unshielding my eyes, I will look around so no one is looking at me, and or a uh, fireball over my dress and start stumbling into people. <laughs> okay. All right. And uh, Corinne, you're at the table. What the um, hell? What's going on? Yeah, How and then play you like see, this? Like, like everybody is like, they're like covering their, you know, like sort of like groping around, like they can't, like they're blinded. Like, what the heck? What was that? Um, what? Uh, you folks all right? What's I, I was looking down. What? What the hell was that? Yeah. Uh, Let me start. Okay, and then, or, or do you want to do any? Do you want to do anything while everybody's blinded? Well, um, may I um, um, say something? Well. Yeah. 
I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I was waiting for the dex order. Is it my time to specify? Um, you're after Morgan, but but uh, okay, I'll wait. Just yeah. just as long as you let me know before something, but before okay. general actions happen or whatever. Yeah, I well, just uh, I just want to know. I, right now, I don't think so. I, are people still trying to play cards right now or not? No, they're no. like st they're like blinded. Probably not. Yeah, they're they're like temporarily blinded. Okay. And then they're they seem to be pawing around, like trying to figure out where they where they are, you know. Uh people okay. are basically blind. Yeah. But you you know, you say like, what the hell was that? You know, and everybody else is saying that, like yeah, I want to but sure you are like blinded it. because you shut, you know, you shielded your eyes. Right, yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll get the ring to where she can slip it on while people are not look not being able to see. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess she'll um, slip it on the hand that she keeps, you know, kind of folded like that. So she keeps one hand folded on the table. Uh huh. Periodically knocks on and stuff like that, you know. Uh, okay. Been trying um, to make people think that's her tail. So. Yeah, so basically she's just kind of, uh, I mean, she'll get the ring ready, but other than that, she's just kind of holding the action. There's, I don't, this is more of the physical people's distractions, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. But you're just, you're just pretending like right. like and you, I mean, were, I, you were blinded too, and then you're, you know, you're like, what was that? Yeah, I, yeah um, I'm just, I'm acting like everybody else is, so I don't get picked out, is there something wrong with, why is this person not reacting to this? Yeah. Right. Um, and then uh, Morgan. My eyes! My eyes! What the <laughs> hell was that? Oh, my eyes! <laughs> um, Appropriate reaction. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. better than edging toward the door and dashing. That's, that's kind of obvious. That's kind of obvious, yes. Yeah. Um, okay, Dr. Park. <laughs> okay, I want to say, um, oh my god, mm -hmm. is that a fire? Fire, nothing worse than fire underground. <laughs> and uh, so hopefully I'm going to create some disturbance amongst everyone else and everyone's going to run around. Okay, yeah, so you say fire, right? And then people are like, fire? And then the people are, you know, people who are closer to the table still just kind of stumbling around like trying to get up and like fall out of their chair like tripping over each other and and then it, you know chaos ensues and people start shoving their like shoving pat or trying to grab all the chips off the table you know still blind like my ch you know my my money and then people are sh trying to shove past each other to get out the door and like the the bodyguards think that they're <gasps> under attack they pull their swords out um and you know amelia is kind of like stumbling into people like she's drunk and they, they're trying to get past her it, but yeah chaos right okay yeah i'll i'll scoop up the uh i'll scoop up uh, my quote winnings there <gasps> right Although okay she's so... not gonna have any dirty things like that with her but yeah yeah, so everybody starts trying to get out of this room and it's cramped. You know, there's a lot of people in here and this explosion just went off and then they think it's a fire. So, and, you know, half blinded. So they're all just kind of trying to get out of the room at once and grab their chips um, and all that. And you know, it's like, no, 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 stay calm, stay calm. And you know, gets knocked over, like like falls over as somebody is trying to get out the get out of the room, and just like oh oh oh, like nursing her her ankle, um, and then these two you know these two minders and these two bodyguards are next to her, like trying to pick her up and like hold their swords at the same time, keeping everybody away from her, um, but yeah everybody is is making their way out the out of the high stakes room uh on naturally i'm following the crowd uh but i really have a hard time not to try to stumble into one and stealing their watch 
Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, a, do a sleight of hand. Yes, and then I you will. Can, you can have it. You can have um, a bonus dice because everybody's disoriented and all the disoriented chaos. it's crammed everyone is moving no one is seeing very well uh let's see here okay 22 is a under half hard yes yeah so yeah easy you get uh let's say that you get um Gordon Ramsay's Rolex. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ching. Ching. Oh, I have to tell you on this later. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, but uh hmm. um so uh Corinne, what are you doing? Are you just scrambling for chips or uh, I'm just uh, like, I'll I'll knock some of them on the floor and scoop some of them in. Looks look like everybody else is like just scrambling to get stuff, and then I'm gonna head on out too. I mean, if if I'm not gonna be playing against uh, 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 you know, again, there's no point in being in there. Yeah. So the um, that's what everybody else at the table is doing. They're all mm -hmm. just trying to like shovel their chips towards themselves, mm -hmm. and then you know, put them or just like shove them into pockets and stuff, sort of recovering yeah. from this flashbang thing. Um, and then Morgan, are you, uh, do you want to do any more? You, you spent most of your magic, right? Like more than half of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going toward the door like everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you, you, Yunaga is trying to hobble, you know, with these two bodyguards, um, and then, um, yeah, I think everybody's trying to make their way down this hallway, and uh, she gets like halfway down the hallway, and then one of the the pit boss guys kind of like runs up to her and starts you know whispering in her ear she's like fuck <laughs> uh starts cursing and then um she like starts heading towards the um towards the the stairs and cast something you see her cast like do the you know the hand gesture and say some words and then part of a wall just like rips apart um like the whole the whole wall on one side and then sort of comes crashing down and um it's the it's it opens up to like the the lobby of the of the casino and then you hear like screams down in the in the middle of the lobby and some gunfire <laughs> there's gunfire oh, yeah no. there's like some gunfire in the you know in the uh in the lobby um but it's like she just opens mm -hmm. up a wall just uh, just pulls down a whole wall oh, oh you know what oh, wait hang on i need to i need to see i need to see something what oh uh -uh. uh okay that's pretty yeah so i'm sorry that's that's not what happens she <laughs> You see her cast the thing, and then instead of exploding outwards, it just explodes, and then she gets hit by some shrapnel. And like oh. the wall does come down, but it like blows back onto her, and then she's hit oh. by some shrapnel, and she's like, What is going on? What the hell is going on? But there's still all of this like gunfire, you know, and stuff like people yelling and screaming, like um in the uh in the the kind of like the lobby of the casino but she's knocked on her ass and so are the two uh the two bodyguards they're just like almost by shrapnel uh, uh, yeah. are people moving back towards us or what are they doing 
Oh, they're trying to, everybody's, everybody seems to be heading for the stairs. Yeah. Like they're just leaving. They're just trying to get out of here. Uh, mass, mass of people evacuating down a uh, flight of stairs is never a pretty sight. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. The only one who's not doing that is like Yunaga and then her bodyguards. They're just kind of standing there in the hallway or they're lying on their butts in the yeah. hallway with this torn wall that's, you know, freshly been opened. So the wall opens onto the main casino floor? Yeah, and it just kind of explodes. Yeah, can we see, if I, if Corinne looks through there, can she see who's, who's shooting? Um, yeah, it looks like the, the security guys. Mm -hmm. Like, they seem like they're actually firing at something that is inside, like, in the back of the casino, like, inside the cage. Like towards okay. where you would assume the vault is. Now, how long does it take to prepare, um, say, either? Um, how long does it take to, to prepare a shield? Or is it, is, can I, I mean, to, to cast it? I think it's just, it's just a regular action, right? Like you okay. can do it as a reaction. Like if, if a hail of bullets are coming at you, you can just cast it. Okay. So I think it's instant. Okay. All right. Um, if there's a way directly into the casino, which all these people are trying to go down the stairs to get to. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stairway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're going down the stairway, but this just opens, even though it's on a different level, down on down to the floor with the casino, as if they were on the same level. Correct. Yeah, you were so so this sorry, this this room, like the high stakes room, is like upstairs huh. from the main casino floor. Oh right. Oh yeah. So you were you were all kind of ushered up, you know, like you were in a ballroom and then you were yeah. ushered down this, you know, into this other room that was like on like the one of the upper floors. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So but but uh Yunaga opened up a wall that leads to the main casino. Is it Second level to the uh, second yeah. level. I mean, where you'd have to drop down on into the casino, or yeah, does it, or or is it somehow they or that somehow even though they're really in different levels, are they on the same level because of magic? Um, it's so you're like one floor up from the the main yeah. the main uh, lobby of the casino. Are they the okay. same stairs we came up on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I okay. was wondering why why she was opening the boy to hold all open in the wall to the main casino if she was still going to be one story up from the floor of the main casino. Yeah, so um, she, uh, <clears throat> like, somebody runs up to her and then, like, what you know, whispers something to her, and then she's, like, screams out. She's like, I'm going to kill him. And then, uh, and then cast this spell and just explodes the wall, but then it blows back onto her. Like it, like she was trying to open it up so that she could see what was going on in the lobby. So she was you know? just trying to see what was going on. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. So I can't really step through then. Okay. Uh, all but right. You do go. see her like blow up a wall, but it seems to blow back onto her. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So I've, obviously I'm not. I can see down there, but obviously I can't just step out on the casino floor. Then I guess I'll have to go the stairs like everybody else does. Then okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wait. Can you do that with shield? Could you like write it down or something? I'm trying to. Mm. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. Or why did you want it? Did you, did you cost want to cast shield because of the shrapnel? No, I wanted to. I wanted to get next to the uh, uh, possibly get next to the security guards and didn't want to be shot. Oh. I wanted to see what I wanted to see what they were shooting at. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And, but so, you know, like I said, they but they might have been jumpy, so I wanted to make sure I had shield in place. And yeah. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to deploy this ring that would that would help or 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 mess up the situation. But I I need to be able to get down there to see to decide. So the um the the two bodyguards that are next to her aren't shooting, 
it's mm -hmm. the it like all the gunfire is coming from the lobby right yes what's what, that's what i'm saying it's like but I, I was in the i had the idea that i could just step down step into the lobby like it was magically somehow on the same floor but she was just yeah. doing she was just blowing out the wall so as you could see just like i didn't take a look down but all i can see is yeah. the guy shooting i can't see what they're shooting at so yeah i and have to go down yeah, yeah it looks like it stairs. looks like they're shooting at something like in the back of the um like in the back of the cage like the vault area okay okay um let me read from so, okay well obviously uh, i've got to get downstairs so like yeah. everybody but else nobody's does, so. nobody's firing in your direction yeah no. no yeah like i said there was a miscommunication on that but yes i'm still gonna be ready once i get down there to deploy it if i have to okay but I think you can just uh, pass shield as a reaction, like if somebody's shooting yeah. at you. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 I think so. Okay. Yeah. When I get down, I'm going to cast Flash Bulb again. I'm going to burn three magic points and I'm going to cast it right in front of the security guard's eyes so they don't hit anybody that they're shooting at. Because mm -hmm. I assume they're sh shooting at the people we came down here for. So, yeah, um, well, so you're all but okay just just so i know where everybody is mm -hmm. amelia are you you're heading downstairs i'm heading downstairs as safely as i possibly can uh on the stairs i'm not uh, mm -hmm. playing james bond or anything okay dr park are you with i mean you're with the mob right or are you trying to like yeah do i mean medical? i'm conscious of the um capability for um, a mob to get into panic mode and particularly if someone stumbles on the stairs then it could turn into um, a higher uh, it could turn into a body count so I'm trying not to be in a mob I'll sort of hold back rather than pressing down the stairs with everyone else um, I'm not really trying to get into the middle of the throng but on the other hand I do want to get out of here so you're in the hallway yeah yeah okay all right, so yeah, um, okay, Morgan, go ahead and do your uh, cast. Yeah, I'm gonna do that when I get down to four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do what? Uh, I'm gonna wait to cast that until I get to the actual floor. That way, nobody on the stairs is blinded, just the security guards. Okay, okay. And uh, let me see. Oh, 70. Uh, can I push it? Um, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna push it then. Um, oh, I don't I don't know if you can push spells. I'm just let me just check real quick. Okay. About that. Oopsie. I'm pretty sure you can, but I want to make sure. Okay. Um yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah. Well, just, right. just if something if if you fail, you know, it's gonna be pretty bad consequence 71 on the push mm -hmm. okay Oopsie. so one My of the dice uh, hate me um one of the and then how many how many points you try to put three yeah so you have what three left or no two left oh. two left no i had 12 originally i burned that one which made it 11 Wait, no, I had, no, I got four left. Four left? Okay. Because I had seven before I uh, left from that other one. Um, I think, yeah. So uh, as you're, <clears throat> you try and, you know, you try and do the, the flash bulb, like as everybody's kind of running out the casino and you're on the casino floor. And then mm -hmm. um, the, it's it's like obvious that you're doing it and then yeah. so one of the mm -hmm. um one of the like security guards jumps you he he tackles you um, oh shit yeah shit 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 um and okay so let's go let's go back into initi er, initiative order so okay amelia you're down uh, on the casino floor I, I managed to tackle the stairs without any rolls in the throng, right? Yeah. yeah. 
you're uh, not actually drunk you just smell like you're drunk yes exactly yeah. uh well, i don't want anyone to be hurt so i don't tackle anyone i just try to stay out of harm's way and uh start shouting uh, Fire, fire, the casino is burning. <laughs> yeah, and then... And, and ter turn over a table. And then you hear <laughs> some gunfire, like like they're like... They're know, shooting! They're shooting! Um, <clears throat> but you can... I'm going to say you can safely get out of the casino, yeah. you know, but you have definitely caused a big distraction. Yes. Um, but then you see... You know, you see Morgan get tackled by a security guard. Mm. Oh no! Um, and that's going to be Corinne. Okay, is Corinne is now down on the the floor right? I mean, she's had time to get down there, right? Well, I thought you were in the hallway, like upstairs, like you yeah. were trying to sort of watch what was happening in the. No, no, no! I was like, after I realized that I could not step out onto the floor of the casino directly from. The uh the thing I decided to go down the stairs just like everybody else. Okay. Because there was right. so you're, I, there, yeah, so there was a limit to what I could floor. see and do up there. So yeah. So I'm on the okay. casino floor. Uh, uh let's see here. Okay. Describe to me how the guy's tack the guy is tackling uh Morgan's character. Oh, he sees him, like he sees him doing like the, the chant and like mm -hmm. moving his hands or mm -hmm. whatever to do the to mm -hmm. do the cast and then he like just looks at him and then just like football tackles him you know to the to the ground um okay. and then like you, you see like yunaga kind of like getting to her feet up in the you know up the stairs like where okay. this wall is freshly torn open yeah. like they saw him trying to cast something at yunaga and then tackled him he was trying to cast something. No, I guess I okay. Uh, I was aiming the, for the uh, guards. Well, they're they're the bunch gun, the gun guards. Yeah, they're the right guards, next yeah. to her. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I don't understand. I thought the gun guards were down. No, it was, it was security guards downstairs shooting at something toward in the cage. Oh, yeah. That's so who I was. There's, there's that, security... that's who that's that's who he was trying to shoot at. I mean, that's what he was mm -hmm. trying to do the flashbang at. Well. Either yeah. way, though, he he failed his push on the okay, all right, on okay. the cast. So somebody yeah. saw him and tackled him. Okay, yeah. tackled him. Okay, um, well, I'm, I'm just trying to see if there's I can like if the guy goes to shift his hand to grasp to, to get a better hold and stuff like that. I'm going to see if I can kind of push the hand or do, or do so do do something with the pillow to to make him fail to to get the better grasp onto uh, Morgan's character uh, to get Morgan a chance to wiggle out. Just huh? like shove him off, just like because like, uh, if you, yeah, cast in pillow and just like shove him with enough force to get him off, Morgan, or just unbalance him. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm. I mean, what? How? Do, what's the force on? Let me. I'm trying to figure out that. It's like, uh, what? Uh, how much force? Let me see. What's I'm trying to get the description? It doesn't. Yeah, I okay. mean, I mean to move. So like you call person? for a strength roll. Well, because she's got a forty strength, so probably she's not anywhere near as big as the uh, as the guard is. So she probably can't shove him off. But she's going to try to do something to unbalance him as he's moving. She just make she him do that. Like, right, just shove him off balance. Okay. So how yeah, many how that, many points do you do you want to burn? To okay. Let me see. Let's see. Where's the magic points? Got thirteen. Uh, um question does it go by your oh, yeah. strength throw or the guy you're doing it against yeah i'm gonna do like an opposed i think it's strength. probably a, yeah pro probably pardon i'm gonna do like an opposed strength but depending on how many to. yeah like how many points okay. you put into it you know uh, do i know from experience about how much three points would increase it by yeah, like let's see. If you're if you're casting in Pello, you know, with just like one point, I think that that would be enough to pick up like I don't know, like a small, not a too big of an object, like something like the size of an apple, 
or something like that. So, so th three points would you, do what? Yeah. Eight, eight. Is that what you said? Three, I'm just I'm trying to figure that three. Uh, what what would three points do from experience that I, I I would know about how much force to, Maybe to like use? A, like a basketball, you know, like something like a, okay. a good amount of force, like something that would take a little bit more. Yeah. So about how much would uh I need, would would Corinne need to throw uh if if the guy when the guy was moving just to throw him off balance, about how much points and from experience do does she think she need to use? I was thinking that if you put six points into it, that I would make okay. him do an opposed like treat it like an opposed strength roll and do like sixty okay. for six points. So say ten points for or 10 pounds of uh, trying to figure out <laughs> doing the math on this like for each mm. point that you put into it i'm going to do 10 points of strength for him so if you put six points into it i would treat it as like a like a 60 opposed 60 strength roll yeah yeah if you put all 12 into it, I would say oh, it would be okay. like okay. 120 pounds of force 13. or something like that. Okay, uh, we, I don't need that to throw them off balance, but I will do, I'll put in seven points. So, okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll make it like an opposed strength roll, and then he has Versus to do 70. 70 yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, so you, uh, oh, wait, do, do the cast. Go ahead and do your okay. cast. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-two. Uh, um, you you beat him, I... but only barely. He got a thirty-five. Okay. So you, you know, you just give him a well, good shot. Can I? Can, can I give him put in? Um, no, two you points won. to bring it down. You can won. I put, you use two points of luck to bring it down to a hard. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Okay. I'm, I, you know, we might be doing this wrong, but I'm gonna say it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're so you used with the Call of Cthulhu thingy, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there is luck, and you can burn luck. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah, if you want to make it a hard, you did win. You you mm -hmm. rolled a thirty-two. He rolled a thirty-five, so you won. Mm -hmm. But um, or yeah. But but a hard would probably make it more effective, right? Yeah, yeah, you could burn it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um just you know, with your background as a cop, you mm -hmm. know exactly like what this guy is trying to do. Like he's trying to get him into like a certain type of hold. Right. And then you just shove him in the right way. And then he kind of like somersaults, you know, like like topples over. Mm -hmm. Um as he's you know just like slips on something mm -hmm. uh yeah. and okay so morgan you can scramble to your feet <laughs> and i'm off of you boogieing out to the pixies stall to grab my stuff and change yeah i'm gonna just hit, hit straight oh, on out the hell out of here <laughs> okay straight out the door okay oh, uh, yes dr dr park okay my near to where this is all happening yeah, I think if you're following the mob kind of down the stairs, if you're trying to like make sure that everybody's okay, yeah, Naga looks I mean. injured. She, you know, she looks like she got hit by some shrapnel. So did her security guards, but they're like standing next to her. And I don't, you get the vibe that they're in, uh, you know, don't let anybody come near you, Naga. Like they got their swords okay. drawn, or they got their guns and their swords drawn. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to go near um, there. Um, do I see uh, Morgan then? Or Yeah, I think if you follow the mob, if you follow the mob downstairs, you see everybody just running out the front door, including, you know, Morgan, as this security guard kind of slips, like, trying to tackle him. Okay. I mean, I don't... I, do, does it seem like there are other security guards or it's just one security guard by himself? Most of them seem occupied with what's going on inside this like cage thing, okay. you know, like they're exchanging gunfire and, and you even, you hear like a, 
like a you know like a some kind of like an automatic weapon like come shoot back from inside the uh you know inside the vault <laughs> is there um is is morgan going to get away or does he need more in uh, as does does it look as if what corinne has um done is going to allow morgan to escape uh yeah yeah he he just scrambles to his feet and runs you know okay, he makes good. it out well, of the just door. run after and maybe mm -hmm. go back to maybe regroup at the um sewing shop to get my clothes back i can't think of a better rallying point than that yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm yeah. keeping the so costume um if you all just want to get out of here you mm -hmm. know like morgan morgan got tackled but if you want to just everybody wants to just escape with the mob you know there's yeah. enough chaos that you can do that without yeah. a problem. I'm not going to make you roll for anything to do that. Um, I think Park should roll. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but just him. Um, but does it does um um uh, can we kind of tell get a, uh, an idea of how the battle's going there? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Um, uh. I think that you, you know, you hear like you, you, there's like an explosion. There's, or like, there's another kind of like explosion that like rocks the casino, the whole thing, like literally. And it's like right under you now. And then it kind of like rumbles a little bit. And, and then people are like fire, fire. <laughs> and everybody's yeah. trying to like run out of the casino. Um, and then these uh, like the, the bodyguards are they're like i don't get paid enough for this shit <laughs> and like kind of, you know start running out of the casino with them uh so it looks it, it looks like the, it's the rebels or the rebels are uh 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 doing pretty good then right yeah yeah okay and i i, I see, have yeah you even see some of these like ghosts that seem to be like running for the doorway and they're like we're finally free we're finally free oh it, like sorry um some of them it come out of the vault like come out of the back of the vault and like they're just running out you know like uh floating out i guess just like whoosh, like going for the door they're like like i can i can go see my children and you know, like oh, we're free. <laughs> I, I kind of so look you're... at one of the look at one of the Coens. Does it? Do I get the same impression, or does it look like they got released? Sorry, one of the one of the what? The soul Coens. Oh, the soul coins. Um, no. Um, actually, it seems like whatever is in there is trapped in there. Hmm. Well, I'll take it with it. Maybe we can find some other way to get them released. Okay uh-huh yeah but but okay, if you but, all just want to get just escape you know you can totally i, I think that. so i think we've done our part here it looks to me like they're doing pretty good yeah mm -hmm. so um yeah if you all you know just run back to the um lyrelia um uh, to uh oh what is the what is the tailor called again um stardust um, stitches yeah if you all just yeah. sort of run back to stardust stitches like really is like she's there and she's like she's like did you did you win did you win did you did you play games and and uh yeah. you could say we won <laughs> um yeah and uh, definitely yeah <laughs> um, i'm glad i had a mask on yeah a year's rent in my pocket so eventually um you see um Liliana shows up and she's got a few you know little like cuts and bruises she's a little singed but she's like we did it we got the ledger and we set the and, yeah. and we set the souls free <laughs> um, I hand her I hand her the uh the soul coins that I brought out with me he's like now figure out a way to set these folks free she says we we did really good and and we're gonna expose you, Naga, that she's done for. 
there's no way that the courts are going to stand for this. And, uh, and um, yeah, and, but that's, uh, that's kind of the, uh, the end of it. <laughs> All right. You, okay. you, you, you pulled it off. You pulled off the heist. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and, I, once and I did not have to play poker with with your dog. I thank God. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> once Morgan's changed and uh, unrecognizable, he is going to buy a couple of wands on the way out. Yeah. Um. Mm. Oh, and um, yeah. She, I think Liliana gives you some like some gold and stuff for your for your trouble, or asks you mm -hmm. you know like grabs a couple extra scrolls for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to say a scroll. Yeah. Right. So I scrolls, will, yes. I'll spend a little at Dr. Lee's shop yeah. to get some interesting <laughs> medical bits and pieces. So, Wizards need magic wands. <laughs> um, what, what, what had happened like behind the scenes was mm -hmm. that Yunaga had, um, she was a part of the Spice Guild she had set up this um, casino many, many years. Ago. Well, it was it was a at first it was a hot spring. She convinced a a water elemental to build this uh, hot spring for her, mm -hmm. and it would have these rejuvenative powers that were people. It, it was rumored that you could actually bring your bring people back from the dead with these rejuvenative powers of this spring. And then it started to attract all of these ghosts that were um, not ready to move on. And she sort of capitalized on it. And then at first it was a bathhouse, then it was a, a hotel, and then it was a casino and it kept growing. And she was making all of these souls, like these um, gullible souls sign these contracts that sort of made them work as like indentured mm -hmm. servants and sh she was not setting them free she was just sort of grinding them to dust until there was nothing left of them and then they would yeah. be released you know but she was making more of a power grab and that was what was causing all of these weird weather things with the um mm -hmm. all the different balls like the the winter court mm -hmm. they had a blizzard or during the winter ball and during the summer ball they had a hurricane and then so on and so forth mm -hmm. uh question uh -huh. uh, do you have uh like uh the i i don't know really the right word but like the occult or fairy underground of new york uh written or have you like taken london and just placed it uh, in new york because the thing is uh, i have only read the first book from uh, rivers of london so mm. i'm not really familiar with how london is yeah like well in in rivers of london you know there's um the it's like the the rivers are there you know like they're the river yeah. gods and then they're they're run by like different factions and they have their own royalty mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, but this is all I just made this all up. It, I'm yeah. not even sure how lore friendly it is, but the no, but it's that yeah, that is not awesome. necessary uh, since like the books and the game are only take like only saying stuff about London and nowhere else so you, i mean using the system to make your own it's perfect actually yeah yeah but it's very heavily inspired by um hellboy 2 the golden army too mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. with the the elves i that love that part of ways yeah oh yeah they were badasses yeah the goblin market the goblin market is pretty cool yeah or, what was it yeah. the troll market or, or was it? Yeah, was it the troll? Yeah, it's the troll market. Yeah. Market. Are you? Are you yeah. planning? That was pretty cool. I like that. Are you planning any more? Uh, writing anything more for this continuation, or are you? Yeah, I. I mean, I really like, like it. Like, I love that this. It was pretty cool. Yeah. 
yeah. but like I, I've, I've been writing some traveler stuff too. So I, I kind of had it on the, 